Hi, I'm about to start the second run, my second run in the catacombs. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've kind of a choice. Do I start at floor one or floor 11? I reached floor 12 during the first run, and then you can start your second run at floor um, 11. I'm going to start at floor 11. It's a gamble. I hope that I have am strong enough and have enough health to at least progress to maybe eight floor 18 or 19, so that I have quite some... Uh, possibility to pick up the coins. If I get uh, stuck sooner, I probably could have better just started at floor one again to gather a lot of those coins to make my uh, creation stronger. But I like the gamble a bit and uh, if you see this video, uh, I try to upload it fast. If you see this video and I, uh, yeah, it turns out my choice was not good, you can at least learn from it and, uh, and, and start from floor one again, assuming you also have the choice. Still two minutes to go. Let's uh, look at my creation. So currently my attack is 81. Mostly this is because of the um, uh, uh, the uh, XP levels and the creation skills that I uh, have because of that. So I had uh, I believe 199 points and uh, um, yeah, I, I use them all for XP uh, levels. Those uh, coins. So that got me to level uh, 19, which, and for the rest I did some research, some attack and defense and uh, health, health potion and stamina potion and health potion uh, effect. I think those are the ones that I researched. So yeah, hopefully I'm well uh, prepared. Satchel capacity 690, you might think, hey, talent points still two left. I don't really know where to put them. So I wait a bit with, uh, with that. Could put them on health in another one, but for the rest, I feel it's not really that useful at uh, the moment. So let's have a look still. Uh, yeah, one minute uh, to go. So currently, I think others also have already started their second run. If I look at the leaderboard, uh, for some reason, this thorn was already quite high to begin with. I don't know if he had some uh, stamina, uh, I mean some cooldown uh, reset. First he was at uh, 12, then uh, later 13, later 14, later 15. Can also be that he just uh, yeah, did some research to improve uh, once he thought he was going to get uh, stuck. It's also possible, it's also possible, yeah, like I said, that he had maybe some uh, uh, cooldown uh, items in a pack. I expect that the others, uh, Tresmigo and Killer G uh, from my alliance actually, that they already did their uh, second uh, run, which I'm going to start uh, soon. So I have quite some stamina, 165 in total. It's the stamina, including the, the potions that I have, which should in theory be enough, I think, to get me to around uh, 25, floor 25, but I don't think I'm going to get to that uh, floor. So I'll start at floor 11. Notice there is this plunder option. So if you have a lot of uh, stamina, it's definitely worthwhile to go for this uh, plunder uh, option. The plunder option allows you to kind of auto-complete 10 uh, floors or, or a number of floors. So it becomes available once you have reached 11, then one you can plunder from one. Once you have reached floor 21, then you can plunder from floor 11. But this way you, yeah, you really go to all rooms on a floor, so that costs you 15 stamina per, per floor. And that yeah, would be way too expensive for me at the moment. So I'm going to look around, I'm going to again use this uh, knowledge that, that the exit is always um, six steps from the entrance. And initially, as long as I feel things are going well, I will just try to finish it as soon as uh, possible. Well, so we have done three steps. Um, yeah, let's just four. Five. In theory, this could be the exit. Yeah, it is. So this is still looking good in the sense that I'm not. Yeah, my defense is good enough so that I don't have any damage. So all my health bar is still 100%. Uh, percent. Uh, the benefit of starting with higher floor, you also get more uh, coins per. Um, per beast, uh, per monster that you uh, beat. So that is also a reason to start at a higher, uh, higher floor. 
So I'm not going to explore all rooms. Uh, at, at this moment, I'm still yeah positive and uh, hoping that uh, I will get very uh, far. The more monsters I inquire uh, at this moment, the more mon monsters that I encounter during my way to the to the guardian uh, beast that is guarding the exit, the better, because I don't get any kind of damage from them uh, yet. Okay, I'm going to go out again. So far, this is going well. Still finishing them in one hit not getting any damage that is all a good sign but uh, yeah, once you start taking damage things go quite fast so i yeah, should really not be getting any damage here yet um, so that cannot be the exit because then the then the next floor would be the exit and then uh, uh, i mean the next room would be the exit and then the two rooms at the top right would be uh, not reachable. So I know that cannot be the exit. So I try it here. Um, now in theory, this could be the exit and it is. Or no, I, I not just in theory. I already knew 100% sure that that would be the exit. I could have known 100% sure. I didn't. So you have to be a bit lucky, but you can see that uh, if you follow these, uh, that knowledge that you can actually, you don't need that much stamina to complete uh, floors. And it's always good to go, uh, well, not always, but it's good to quickly go through floors because uh, um, yeah, the higher you get, the more uh, coins you get. As you can see here, I already got six instead of five coins. Uh, I'm, I'm now talking a bit too much one two three four five six so that was not so smart that last step because i knew that couldn't be the exit hey now i go back to four coins i guess there's a, a bit of a random uh, factor in there So what is nice about uh, the next uh, step that I've reached, um, let's just check how many I'm into 141. It's quite a nice amount. Uh, the nice thing about this floor is now I can start purchasing the simple uh, gear in the um, um, in this creation store, the catacomb store. I'm not yet sure I'm going to do that. I mean, if I think I'm going to strong enough without that gear to reach 20, 25, maybe I won't do it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see that uh, later. I'm not going to deal with that in this video. I will probably just... Uh, just do, make a separate video on that. So five, we know again, going down will not be the exit because then uh, the room in the, the bottom corner would not be reachable, so I go for the other one. Well, so the way things are going now, I'm happy that I started at floor uh, 11. Things are going uh, so far very well, which is uh, which is nice. Which is nice. It's uh, nice when you make a gamble and it uh, pays off. Okay, now I start needing two hits. Um, For a monster. But that's okay. Um, I'm still going to continue. If I do reach uh, floor 21, maybe a bit uh, too early to talk about that but i do if i do reach that floor i can start there the next uh, run which will definitely be a big advantage uh, with respect to uh, trying to win the leaderboard prize and maybe also with my overall uh, development
but yeah, I'm, I'm also dependent on whether there are going to be some people that maybe start spending uh, on this uh, feature. So how am I doing stamina wise? I still have 26 plus my uh, nine stamina potions. So it's still 116. Um, I'm a bit inclined to start fully exploring floors. I mean, there is no benefit for me to really get further than 25. Let me do some calculations. So uh, nine plus 26, that is 116. Um, I still have uh, after this 18, 19, 20. Uh, Seven floors. Yeah, seven times. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to fully explore these floors um, because currently they still don't cost me any um, any health, and maybe I get some more. Uh, um, I have still have a lot of satchel capacity, so I just try to uh, to max uh, max that satchel capacity. And at this moment, getting higher than floor 25 may be nice, but uh, yeah, doesn't give me anything uh, extra, to be honest. Uh, I mean, besides that, I get more coins there, but it's all about the last run where I really want to uh, go very high. Okay. Um. Now I get some damage for the first time. But that's okay. I mean, that was bound to happen. I was already thinking at uh, the moment you start needing more than one. Um, it, so I shouldn't use all my stamina up now. I can just fill it up. But uh, yeah, there is a certain maximum. So if I would use more than these seven, uh, then yeah, it just gets lost. So you shouldn't do that. Yeah, now I also start getting. Uh, Uh, more, uh, I think I'm just going to explore it fully. I think that's probably the best uh, tactic. Okay, um, going, I would say it's going very well. Next floor 20. The amount of stamina, I'm, or the amount of health I'm losing is still manageable. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, no, I'm, I might stop later, not completely go till the end. Not sure yet. I, I might, because you can still do some research. That is the, the thing that I wanted to say. Uh, so you can still continue your research now. And for example, things like health, potion effect, attack and defense, if you increase that, that will still have effect during your current run. Increasing the health potions or stamina potions now doesn't uh, help because those are uh, yeah, just effective at the, uh, based on the beginning. Uh, oh, this is also interesting. So there is some um, 
yeah, you can encounter another uh, player. Let's do this a bit slower. Um, so Killer G is actually another player from my uh, uh, alliance. So it's interesting. He has a, uh, he's actually a stronger, uh, it seems he has a stronger um, creation already, but he didn't get uh, very far because he's definitely going to, to beat me. There's nothing much I can do about it, so I can just as well speed it up. Uh, now I lose, he wins. Oh, he's already at level uh, 20, 20. Oh, no, that is the XP uh, level. So probably oh, yeah, he did his run. He leveled up. Makes sense. Um, uh, let's see. He doesn't have any uh, gear yet. But he did uh, increase his sexual capacity. He doesn't have many health potions. Didn't research attack yet, it seems. Um, yeah, he just used to level up, but he leveled up uh, a lot. Uh, 28 is a very high level. I don't know if he, he maybe bought some uh, XP items. I don't see myself doing that with my current, um, yeah, the current amount of uh, points that I'm carrying. But it's interesting to, uh, to see. So that's a strong uh, opponent that I unfortunately lost. So I cannot show you what kind of goodies you can uh, get from that. So the health in that battle, I'm going to speed it up again, the health in that battle, uh, yeah, that does not affect the rest. So you see that my health bar got up again to the same uh, level. That's always the case, whether you win or lose. Uh, that It's kind of a special one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, battle. But yeah, he's strong and uh, that's a, a big spender in our uh, alliance, good guy. Uh, but um, yeah, he's definitely one I should try to somehow uh, stay ahead of, if, if I still am. Um, which is uh, yeah, going to be an interesting uh, challenge. But yeah, reaching this uh, floor uh, 21 was one of my uh, goals. Uh, because I can restart uh, here which is definitely going to be uh, nice. I'm not sure if I should really yeah, try to go as fast as possible and get to floor 25 to have the, the additional uh, gear. Or just explore as much as possible to have many coins. Uh, currently 348 is definitely already a nice uh, amount. Uh, let's see how much health potions 10 times uh, that's quite a lot of health and I can still increase that a bit as well so you now what I'm, I'm just going to keep uh, exploring and did I make any yeah let's con explore this floor completely Just keep grabbing those coins and then just, uh, so I need to do 22, 23 and 24 completely. That is 45 stamina and I still have 47. So that's, that's fine. I think I might not be able to reach it anyway, but uh, yeah, from a stamina point of view, I could still get to 25. I am keep doubting, should I really aim for 25 or not? Uh, maybe I should try to go for 25, maybe not. Um, mm -hmm. 
it's a difficult uh, choice. Maybe I'm going to stop the video here and think a bit more about it. Will I go to try to go to 25 or not? Then I should take the shortest path or am I going to collect as much as possible? Maybe I have to do some calculation like how many, what do I actually need to make uh, some of the gear um, that becomes available at 25? That's going to be an interesting question as well. So I'm, I'm going to do some thinking about that. I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to, uh, to share.